Right guys, welcome back to more Kingdom Come Deliverance. As always, I'm really excited to get back into this game. I want to thank you all again for the support on this series so far. It's been absolutely immense. I'm really, like, buying into Henry's story as well. Like, how he went from just a son of someone who, like, built swords, basically, to now becoming, like, sort of like a knight in shining armour for um, another knight. Well, it's hard to as a knight, but you know what I mean. Like, he went from someone who no one knew to someone who wants to fight for the revenge of his parents. Anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's get back into the game. Drop a like, as always, if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it, people. Yeah. 
Good day to you. What do you need? I'm looking for someone they call Riki. That's the tenor's son, Hinnick. Where can I find him? Hard to say. He's not around here much. Thank God for small blessings. You could try his fork's place. What can you tell me about this, Hinnick? What can I tell you? No, he's none too popular. No one cares to talk to him. Why not? Well, I'm not one to gossip, but I heard he keeps bad company. What's the Tanner like, Hinek's father? The less I see of him, the better. He's not exactly sparkling company. Why do they call him Riki anyway? Why do you think? Because he's a Tanner, of course. So why don't people like him? The old Tanner's not an easy man. But his son should never let his father down. Hinek does nothing to help. He's always far too busy with his own affairs. Though I wouldn't like to say what those are. And does no one at all talk to him? The harlot Adela hangs around with him, of course. Harlot? She works as a bathhouse wench. Same thing. Good luck, then. God be with you. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an envoy of Sir Radza Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off, and tell me where your son is right now. I apologise if I offended you, young man. But still, I don't know where Hinek is. He turned up at the house a while back, but then he vanished again in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? Uh, what? <sighs> Look. It's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. But I'm still his father, right? And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. If you value your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. It doesn't have to be that way. If Hinnick cooperates, he can save his neck. I can't say you put my mind at ease. But to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinnick makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. 
But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn, then. Go. And if he's really in a... Respect for you, sir. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. But ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Riki. He'd only drive my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. No time for this. I have to find Hinek, and you're going to help me. Am I now? Even if I did know, why the hell would I help you? This is a nice alehouse you have here. It would be a shame if anything happened to it. <laughs> Are you threatening me? What do you think? So are you going to talk, or do I have to beat it out of you? Fine. Let's get to the point then. Do you know? Where there's a will, there's a way. I did some deals with Mickey. But I swear to God, I don't know where he is. I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is, I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place, a cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted. So, he had to have a light for that. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Good God, what happened to your clothes? If you... I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? God, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. I have seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. I found out that Hinek goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hideout there. What do you know about it? Um... Don't worry. Hinek has much bigger problems than being caught poaching. And you're not involved in it anyway, are you? 
No, I'm not. It's true he used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp. Because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood. And he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talked about what he caught. And he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening. Drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, oh I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosch who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Oh, just poppycock. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right, thank you. Take care. Right away, he'll take them. And how much do I want to
a bed for the night. Aye, there's room in. For how long? Just the one night. Sure, but let's see. Here you go. You'll like it here. Where do I go? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, at the end of the room on the left, there's a door leading to... Take care now. Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any useful advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me, I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone, I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? That's not important. The important thing is we have a common foe. Considering all the enemies I have, the odds of that are pretty high. I'm talking about the gang that raided the Neuhof stud farm. <sighs> I know you were there. I was, but I've got nothing in common with those bastards. I'll take your word for it, providing you tell me what you know. I don't know why you should care, but if it keeps my neck out of the noose, I'll spill the beans. That Neuhoff raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realized what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard. Well, they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking hexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking, I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt, and Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? On the way to Neuhof, 
Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're going to rob a farm, he says. That was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof, too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox, with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he worked. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up. Two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Runt. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so bucket from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... people. We've got to get out of here. They're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they don't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Look here. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I suppose you're right. What's that? Hey! You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. You'll get it. to my prayers, just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone.
good day to you. Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, um... A complete numbskull? Aye, he works here. Or he used to, I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. As far as I know, no one's seen him since. But try asking his sister, Myrtle. She works here too. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Listen and listen well. It'll be better for everybody if you tell me. I'll be happy to know where I can find him. You'll be happy I don't have to get nasty with you and Timmy. I'm sure Timmy will be happy to stay alive. You... You don't want to hurt him? No. Like I said, I just want to talk to him. All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. All right, what do you want? Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no-good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things. But I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. By take care of him, I mean kill him. <laughs> He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. Mm, hello, boys. Um, so what do I have the pleasure? Yes, sir. Can I help you? Got the feeling you're looking for someone here. Yes. You're looking for someone too. Maybe we can help each other. Maybe. Who are you looking for exactly? And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. Really? I'm looking for him too. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same fellow, I wonder? Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Really? Why would you do that? We're all Christians here, aren't we? Why not help thy neighbor? Especially if he pays two score groschen. Ha! You wouldn't be my cousin by any chance. I hope not. <laughs> no more. Half now, and half when we find him. Deal. Two hundred and twenty-five. All right. Yeah, the Coppins Farm. Back where he started. Are you yanking my fizzle? No. Excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. You know what? <clears throat> Alright, let me get my horse, boys. And then we'll uh, go find him, yeah? Nice. I know, I don't know if this is actually what I was meant to do. Now 
Nice to see you, Timmy. How goes this? Well, what? Haven't seen you around for a while, eh? No? Well, uh, I... I hope you haven't forgotten us, Timmy. We've been thinking about you. Uh, uh, me too. I, I was thinking about you. I, I was, you know, thinking that I go and see you fellows and, uh... You don't have to go anywhere. Oh! Oh! God! Come on, boys! Jesus Christ! Again. I was hoping you'd help us out with Timmy, but never mind. Tell me though, why were you looking for him? He owes me money and he's not paying up. So I thought I'd uh, gently remind him. <laughs> that didn't work out very well, did it? He won't pay you now. <laughs> Hmm. It's true you've shown what you can do. Timmy could testify to that. If he wasn't chopped to pieces. <laughs> Maybe I do have a job for you. What kind of job? The kind of job you don't ask too much about. And the less you ask, the more you get paid. Oh, God. Why not? Asking questions never got me anywhere anyway. Glad to hear it. Go and do what you have to do, and then come and see us at the camp. And be prepared to stay there a few weeks. All right. But how do I find that lair of yours? It's an abandoned village. I believe it used to be called Pribislavets. If you go upstream along the creek that... Okay, yeah, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Well, then at least tell me what they... Moorcock. Henry. We'll see you at the camp. Yeah. You'll see me at the camp. Definitely see me at the camp. What? Right, let me get on my horse. Hey. Okay, why are you just Greetings. What business have you? I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Ujets. I found out one of the bandits is from there. A fellow they call Limpy Lubos. I see. What else? I went to Ujets, where they told me I could find Lubos. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair's becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them. A crony of Limpy Lubos's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosh, and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area. And they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sacra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I managed to trick one of them into agreeing to take me into their camp. 
Indeed. That was quite a feat, but I don't want you taking risks like that. Alone in a camp full of cutthroats. I don't like the sound of it. I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. Take care, lad. Alright. Okay, everyone. Let's go find them.